Hey guys, welcome back to your girl's channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my further videos. And if you guys have not already noticed my flawless wash and go, that's what this video is about. So before this video, your girl did straighten her hair back in December. Yeah, it's definitely February now, the end of February at that. And washing my hair was well overdue so your girl had to get in there and really really wash her hair and i decided to do a nice wash and go i hope you guys I like mm. Mm. giving you guys a real fullness real definition like let me close up so y'all can see giving you very much definition okay i did that so if you guys want to see how i personally achieve the perfect wash and go okay i want you to stick around and keep on watching but before you go make sure you hit that subscribe button Okay guys, so I got quite a bit of a confession to make. Your girl has not washed her hair since like December 12th. Oh. Do not throw eggs and tomatoes at me. Um, I have just been really lazy. Um, life has just been moving super fast between work. Um, I'm back in college now, so if you got type 4 hair, you already know the struggle. Washing our hair is not a hour process. It's more like a five, six hour process. Um, It's like having a second job. So yeah, it has been a while since I washed my hair. So it's kind of showing um, my hair is dry. The buildup, baby. The buildup from the edge control. I've been wearing my hair in a um, bun. I did straight my hair, by the way, back in December. So that's why it's, you know, in this state. My hair never looks like this but um yeah so yeah i got quite a lot of bit of build up i've been wearing my hair in a low bun twisting it up i haven't really been keeping my hair out um and i've been wearing wigs so the hair is dry okay the hair is is dry if you guys haven't already checked out my wash day routine i'm going to link that above in the cards that's going to give you the rundown on how i wash my hair and it actually has some visuals of me washing my hair in the shower so that's what i'm going to do then i'm going to come back to you guys with the actual styling portion of the video in the meantime i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to be using in the shower so i'm going to use my cream of nature argan oil sulfate free shampoo that's what i'm going to use to wash my hair it's been a while so your girl needs a good shampoo on her hair okay and as you guys should already know from watching that wash day video i'm going to be using my bella curls coconut oil deep conditioning mask as my deep conditioner and i do put olive oil and jamaica black castor oil inside of this um leave-in conditioner that's the only time i use um oils while i'm also in the shower i'm going to be putting on my leave-in while my hair is nice and hot and wet so i'm going to put that on while i'm in the shower and then when i get out you guys are going to see the actual um styling portion which is the actual wash and go so with the actual wash and go i'm going to be using this liquid gold y'all this is like my cheat code to my wash and goes okay my this is my cream in nature argan oil style and shine Ooh, the head is itching girl style and shine foaming mousse this is what i'm going to be using on uh, for my wash and go along with my personal go eco style gel with the red top um i think it's it's the one with argan oil but i just usually say with the red top okay that is my personal goal and of course on standby i'm going to be having my spray bottle full of warm water just in case your girl's hair starts to dry out of course we're going to need some clips we're going to need some rubber bands all that good stuff because we're going to be doing this in sections and when it comes to the stretching process you're going to need a blow dryer so just bear with me and we'll get to those steps but for now your girl about to go wash this hair y'all already know if you got type 4 hair it's gonna take an hour or so i haven't washed my hair in so long so just wait for me it's gonna be for y'all it's gonna be real quick for me it's gonna be a couple hours till i get back so stay tuned i'll see you for the styling portion okay guys so i sped this part up really fast but in a nutshell this is me fresh out of the shower hair still soaking wet i didn't dry my hair out at all i just i ran out of plastic cap so yes i went the old school way and i put a uh bag over my head and then i put my body in just to lock in the heat so my hair is actually still warm here and it's still soaking wet hence why i keep wiping my forehead so as i'm working with my sections i go ahead and wrap my the plastic bag back around the rest of my hair while i'm working with this one section because you want your hair to stay wet and warm it the products take even better when your hair is wet and warm okay 
so um, I put that shirt on top of the bag just to keep that warmth locked in and then I want to start with the first section so right now guys obviously it's super sped up but when it comes to the shingling process I'm going to slow it down for a while so you guys can actually see how I shingle my hair but I do go in with the foam first detangle um, that one section and then put the gel on and now this is not slow-mo y'all this is real time this is me shingling the section in real time so I just want to stress to you guys who are doing wash and goes, make sure you get in those roots. If you do not want puffy roots, get the product all the way to your roots, okay? So when you put your foam and your gel on there, make sure you're not just getting the shaft and the ends of your hair. Make sure that you are coating your roots with product as well. So this is how we shingle. You grab curl by curl and you start from the root and pull and just stretch the product all the way down to the tip of the hair that's how you get maximum absorption of each product so this is a shingling method y'all yes it takes time it's tedious but i promise you guys it works i went ahead and sped this back up because if i would have did the whole video with me shingling um it would have been a really really long video but um so I sped this part back up and later on I'm going to get to the top of my head and show you guys what it looks like again. Okay guys, so here we are at my very last section. Um, so my hair started to get a little dry, so that's why you got that water bottle with warm water on standby. So what I noticed is my hair took better when I put the gel on before the foam. So I put the gel on first, detangle. Detangling is key. When you're doing a wash and go, make sure that hair is detangled, y'all. That dimming brush will be a lifesaver for you, okay? So what I started doing after that first section that y'all saw is I put the gel on first, from root to end I use a lot of gel y'all everybody's hair can't take it my hair is super coarse type 4 so my hair can take the gel so I put the gel on root tip and then I add my foam on top and that made it way easier to detangle so um yeah I just brush it out again and here we are shingling yet again and this is what I did for my whole head y'all it's a process I'm telling you so here y'all you just see me going in perfecting spots that I feel like were too chunky shingling over and over again making sure everything looks flawless okay you guys so i have you guys a little more zoomed in so you can see what we're working with finally the hard part is over about four hours later <laughs> yeah four hours later that's the whole process that was the wash the detangle and the deep condition my leave-in in and the wash and go is done uh, as you guys saw i did the shingling method that took me about an hour just to shingle my whole head but here is what we are working with but y'all know this is not the finished product so what i like to do is go ahead and sit under my hooded dryer so i have this hooded dryer from golden hot 1200 so i'm gonna sit under that for maybe like an hour no longer than an hour maybe 45 minutes no longer and then i'm gonna show you guys how i like to stretch my roots okay you guys so I don't know if it's reading on my face on camera, but your girl is tired, okay? If you have tight for hair and you uh, wash your hair with care and you take your time to style it, you already know what the deal is. So I'm not going to have to explain too much. But I hopped on here again to show you guys my stretching process. So if you guys can't already tell, this side is much longer. So this is my stretch side. This is what the stretch side looks like. And this is the side that I have not stretched. So this is after my hair just being dry. Of course, my roots are still a little damp. I only sat under the hair dryer for about 50 minutes. So my roots are a little dry, a little damp still. So this is what the unstretched side looks like. And this is what the stretch side looks like. So real quick, I'm going to show you guys how I stretch my hair. Um, Super quick, y'all, because I'm about to go back in the bathroom and stand up in the mirror and get this done so I can get ready to go to bed because I'm tired, okay? So what I like to do is take a silk scrunchie. Always, everything I do with my hair is in four sections, okay? It just makes it easier. I have a lot of hair. Um, if you got tight four hair, I'm sure you have a lot of hair as well. So this just makes our life much easier. All right, so I take my silk scrunchie. I'm going to band that one time just to kind of get that part out of the way and then i'm just going to go ahead and start from the back 
So I usually take a section like that and I clip up the rest. And then, so all I have left is this little piece right here. So my roots are still damp. So what I like to do is I just pull, I hope you guys can hear me because my mic is on this side, but I just pull my hair down. We're not gonna be blow drying like the curly ends. We're gonna absolutely leave that part alone. There's no need to blow dry the ends. You want your ends to remain curly, but you want your roots to be not straight, but stretched out, okay? So I usually take my hand like this and then I take my blow dryer. This one I have from um, Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, it has a cool shock setting. It has high, medium, and low heat. I usually use high heat and uh, low air pressure. And I switch, I press the cool button in between so I won't get heat damage. I don't like too much heat directly on my hair. And because my roots are still kind of damp, I'm gonna be drying them as well. So it's necessary to use that cool button. So what I like to do, so I, I would take this like this, go up and down the shaft. I keep moving. I don't stop moving because I don't want to just keep heat on one spot. I just go up and down the shaft until the part is dry and then you have a stretch section and then I move on to each section. So I'm going to go in the bathroom, you guys. It's really hard for me to do um, in my studio or in my little setup, in my glam room, whatever. I like to do this in the bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like in the end. Okay, you guys. So here is your girl's final look. I most definitely want to give you guys a full beat face, okay? I want to give you guys full beat, full glam face and all that with my finished hair. But y'all, I'm tired. I'm serious. Like, this does, this process does take all day. Like, I kid you not, it's 9, 12 right now. And I started doing my hair at like 3 o'clock. Of course, I did take a break to eat and all that stuff. But y'all... I'm tired. I'm ready to lay down and go to bed now. This has been a long wash day, but it is well worth it. Look at, look at my hair. Like, look at the volume. Look at the definition. It's definitely giving. So, this is the finished look, you guys. I hope I was able to teach you guys something. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, make sure you leave it down in the description bar. I will be sure to answer back. I love you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.